Hi, this is Jerry Christakos of Christakos Design, and welcome to this gorgeous bedroom. It's crisp and clean, minimalist, neoclassically inspired, and dare I say, a little bit sexy. Come and join me on a tour. The mood here is cool and dreamy and almost ethereal, with white crown molding releasing a swag of white fabric onto a cloud-like white shag rug. The room acquired a bed, of course, and for reading, two matching night tables and two lamps, a tall mirror for dressing, a flat screen television, and a seating area. For reading in bed and TV viewing, I started with two matelassé pillow shams, two standard pillowcases with a large scale Romanesque pattern, and finally two feather filled throw pillows. This duvet inspired the entire room, but it wasn't always a duvet. It started out as a bedspread from a bed in a bag ensemble that I purchased at a local retail store. I absolutely loved the fabric on the bedspread and on the matching pillowcases behind me. It was a bedspread that had a polyester uh, batting on the inside, so I wanted to convert it into a duvet. How did I do it? Simple. I had a slit cut in the bottom of the bedspread. The stitching that was holding the polyester batting to the top and the bottom of the bedspread was removed. The batting was taken out and snaps were sewn in the bottom hem of the bedspread and now it can hold your comforter inside acting as a duvet. Instant custom job. I wanted to do something really dramatic for the headboard area. I chose this poster, which is a photograph of the statue of David. It's meant to hang vertically, but I wanted to hang it horizontally. My only issue was it had to hang out farther than the fabric that's hanging from the ceilings. How did I do it? Very easy. I took a four inch L bracket and simply mounted it to the back of the wall. And then I took a small screw and inserted it in the front hole of the L bracket. It keeps the picture wire and the picture frame from falling forward. It looks as though the poster is hanging in midair. Opposite the bed is a symmetrical arrangement of black and white prints, a television with the cords concealed behind the wall, and some decorative shelving. Here's something to consider when you're decorating with a minimalist vibe. Edit, edit, edit. There's no reason to have everything that you own on your shelves. So, take some things away and bring them back at another time, perhaps at daylight savings time. There are no hard and fast rules about groupings on shelves, but I prefer groups of three. It's a little easier on the eye, and your eye can scan the area and appreciate what's actually there. Another tip is to decorate the shelf that's above or below this shelf in a different manner. If things are grouped on either end of the shelf, take the next shelf and group things in the center. Let's just move this like this, move him in a little bit, and we've created a nice clean tableau. Really good looking. A cornice board and panels in iridescent gray resemble Roman columns by using two bands of ornate silver ribbon on the cornice and two on the curtain panels near the floor. And that concludes the tour of this gorgeous bedroom. What would your bedroom look like? Let's design it together. I'm Jerry Christakos. Please join me on Facebook and YouTube at Christakos Design. And of course, my website, ChristakosDesign.com. Bye for now.